Well, it looks like we finally get some news in regards to The Batman 2 and other The Batman spin-offs, or at least one of them. Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. Just to let you know, if you don't see my face, that just means I'm not at home. Yeah. So after Deadline speculation that the Batman sequel is not going to happen for a few years and that there is no movement on the Penguin series, well, it looks like Deadline themselves reported today exclusively the Batman director Matt Reeves sets multi-year first look film deal at Warner Brothers and re-ups with Warner Brothers Television. This coming off the news from yesterday that the Batman Cape Crusader is no longer moving forward at HBO Max, which was a J.J. Abrams and Matt Reeves production. Though they are still in production now, they haven't canceled this thing because the series will be shopped to other networks streaming services. I mean, that red Netflix logo does look quite good on that Batman poster. And it would mean that Warner Bros. Discovery would make more money on the show rather on relying on subscriptions from HBO Max. But anyways, back to Matt Reeves' multi-year first look film deal. Warner Brothers is going all in on the Batman director Matt Reeves and his sixth in Idaho production company. He has become the first filmmaker given an overall first look film deal since Warner Brothers Pictures Group CEOs Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abney were hired by Warner Brothers Discovery Chief David Zaslav to steer the film division. In addition, Reeves has re-upped with Warner Bros. Television Group and Chairman Channing Dungey, where he is also working on the Batman spin-off series The Penguin with Colin Farrell. Matt Reeves said in a statement, Making this legendary studio my home is a dream. I am so excited to be working with Mike, Pam, and Channing and our teams to bring captivating stories I am truly passionate about to the big and small screen. Worth mentioning, he doesn't say anything about Walter Hamada. CEO Michael DeLuca said, Pam and I gratefully inherited the relationship with Matt from the Batman and through the beginning stages of planning the Penguin series for HBO Max. We were excited to nail down his overall deal because it's a cornerstone of what we want to do with the filmmakers that are working at the studio. We want to create an atmosphere where all of these filmmakers can excel and do their work and stay with us once they are inside the Warner's family. Keeping Matt and creating a home for him to do more projects in the Batman universe, but all also originals was very important to us. Chairman Channing Dungey says Matt is one of the most imaginative and creative minds in the business. We look forward to continuing our partnership with the wonderful 6th and Idaho team and expanding the world Matt so artfully created with the Batman film through our upcoming series, The Penguin. DeLuca says, someone like Matt will buy for him whatever he wants to do. We're making an investment for whatever Matt feels it pulled toward in the Batman universe and otherwise. He has an open invitation to go wherever his interests take him. We'll lean into whatever Matt wants to do in terms of the writer directors out there working in this very elevated genre space with everything Matt's done from Let Me In to the Apes trilogy to the Batman. He's in a class by himself. And these are very much strong words coming from Michael DeLuca and even Pam Abdi. And honestly, they needed this to happen. Warner Brothers Discovery needs to secure more talent relationships or get back talent relationships after the multiple, multiple news of cancellations, things being scrapped, talent getting mad. They need to secure better relationships in comparison to the amount of things they are canceling in order to save money. In fact, this little quote here says it all. Warner's always had a tradition of being a home base for filmmakers, Clint Eastwood being preeminent among them. We want to continue that tradition, especially with people we've had success with. We want to create an atmosphere where we get repeat business with these filmmakers. We feel any studio built on the basis of having a roster of filmmakers working at the studio over and over again is a good business strategy. Abdi said, we see it as just essential for the health of the studio to be a vibrant place for writers, directors, and for signature filmmakers to do multiple movies with us. It's almost as if they're really trying to clean up the name that Warner Bros. Discovery has been having ever since David Zaslav took over. They want to make sure that talent knows that Warner Brothers is still a studio that people should trust and work with. Because if you remember months ago that David Zaslav had an issue with the studio greenlighting and making the Cry Macho film 
film by Clint Eastwood. Because the Cry Macho film actually bombed at the box office and on home video, but the studio executive says, well, they had a 50-year career with him, and they are indebted to Clint Eastwood, in which Zaslav says, look, it's not show friends, it's show business, and that they don't owe any favors to anyone. So it's very obvious why they mentioned Clint Eastwood's name in that Batman Matt Reeves article. They're trying to get ahead of the bad press and hopefully maybe get their stocks up. Which I feel is a great decision as a company. You have to put out positive news. You have to secure talent relationship to kind of outweigh all the bad press about movie cancellations and the stocks going down and the shareholders not happy. So at least from this, we know that they are heavily working on the Penguin series with Colin Farrell. But what about the Batman 2? Well, apparently the writing process hasn't begun just yet, but is expected to come in the coming weeks. With Mattson Tomlin to co-write the Batman 2 script with Matt Reeves. Which is interesting because I thought he helped write the Batman the first time around. Well, apparently, according to Hollywood Reporter, Tomlin worked on the Batman coming in during the development when third act issues arose. Although he did not receive screenwriting credit, which Reeves shared with Peter Craig. But this time around, Tomlin is coming in on the ground floor. Oh, I wonder what third act issues arose from that movie. So with that being said, Deadline was still right the first time around that the Batman 2 is still a few years away and hopefully not too long i mean how long does the writing process take movies can be in development held during the writing process for a long time but it's great to hear that warner brothers discovery is all in on matt reeves so let's see how they flesh out his the batman universe all right what do you think about the batman director matt reeves getting a multi-year first look film deal at warner brothers are you excited for the penguin series and potentially the batman too Share your thoughts in the comments down below.